Jesus's willingness to undergo that torture of Roman crucifixion for my sake is actually beginning to scare me. What was likely to be 39 lashes as per Roman law, although it's not specified in the Bible, left his skin, if there was any left, with multiple open wounds. Yet he had to carry a cross, who knows, maybe getting splinters along the way, before being nailed to said cross and left there for six hours before he could finally pass away. Nails in his hands and feet bearing the full weight of his body, there was no comfortable position. This is terrifying to me, but in a good way. Bear with me, have you ever had somebody confess their feelings to you and you simply had no idea how to take it? You're left on the spot, having to decide if you feel the same way or not. If you turn them down, no one else may feel that way towards you again. But if you're just nice, you may just not want to hurt their feelings. For the first time, I'm feeling a weight. This isn't just like, oh, that must have been terrible. He went through all of that just for me. It's like... My creator imposed this much value onto me. I didn't ask for this, but I surely did need it. I am filled with both peace and fear at the same time. Peace because I know how heavily the Lord has it on his heart to make sure that I get to heaven. And fear because I know how heavily the Lord has it on his heart to make sure I get to heaven. He went to that length. I know the Lord will be faithful to finish the work that he started on the cross, which is my sanctification, and making sure that I attain eternal life. I put it this way, the fear is knowing that for the sake of my soul, the Lord would cut my feet off if they are quick to do evil, leaving me handicapped for the rest of my days on earth if it meant that he could have me. There are times in my weakness where I thought that I would tap out of this walk of faith because it got a bit heavy. The Lord never forsaked me. He never forsaked me. And he will never forsake you. The cross can testify. God loves you. Good night.